working on this piece for the Children's Hospital, I've been thinking a lot about um, a family member who was recently in the hospital, and it really inspired me to, you know, make this piece just to provide an uplifting feeling to the children and, and their parents at the hospital. No. My work stands out in the world of um, factory-made objects. I think it's important to surround ourselves by, with things that are beautiful and inspiring. So this piece that I'm working on right now is called Moon Dance. The theme of the third floor in the Children's Hospital is movement that inspired the design. And I just, you know, had this vision of a little girl dancing out in the moonlight and just feeling really free. And, um, and then I included some animals, some of her friends in the background with the butterfly and the bird. Um, the overall size of the piece is five feet by six feet. I'm using many different materials, um, ranging from stained glass, glass beads, vintage rhinestones. Each piece is hand cut. Some of the parts of the design I've sculpted, I've built up, so you can see the trees kind of pop out a little bit. I like to think of the dimensional pieces as sort of like a pop-up book effect. I think that might appeal to the children. I was inspired to start building and sculpting the surfaces by a customer. Um, she had requested uh, more of a you know rounded surface so all these bells just went off and I couldn't believe it had never occurred to me to go that direction before. But now I'm going to work on this little um, music note. I'm going to use a combination of beads and a button because I think a button would be really sweet. So I was at my friend's house for dinner one night and I noticed a plaster bust she had. Um, I ended up taking it home that evening and the result was drama queen. Um, I covered the bust with seed beads and found objects and some of her mother's jewelry. The face was made up of crystal seed beads and in the eyes I used vintage rhinestones. Over the, the torso part of it, um, Italian glass tile that I hand cut into flower petals. In the hair, I used many, many found objects. I had trays of buttons and brooches and things I had been collecting for years, and a lot of them went into that piece. And people often ask me if it's um, if I import these from somewhere, <laughs> which I think is really funny, but because I make them all myself, um, one piece at a time. I spend most of my time on the details. So um, the butterfly and the bird and all the leaves and the flowers got a lot of attention. The sun um, behind the girl in the design is going to consist of um, three different types of glass. I'm going to use the gold leaf glass here that I made with the metal foil and um, also this yellow glass. So when I start working on a project, I start to bring out different materials that I think I might like to use. I just let them, you know, hang out around me while I'm working. I like to put them into containers that are appealing and inspiring, you know, show off the material. You can add it up, it's simple math, some total of fragments. Place. 
it's easy to get caught up in the details and put a lot of time into one section. Uh, it actually goes faster than you think. Um, so I've gotten this much done and I still have this much left to go. That's all right. That's what I do. So I haven't seen this piece since it was installed a couple weeks ago. It's pretty exciting revisiting something that was so close for um, that amount of time. Wow. It's good to have some time away from it and come back and to see it with fresh eyes. Looks good. I'm really happy with seeing it on the wall and out of my studio. <laughs> I see a bird. A lady is dancing and flowers. This is my moon dance. And what pieces do you use for these? This flower. For that flower, I <laughs> use little tiny beads all in a row. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.